All right, time for another math easy solution to discuss the Hoppy Tells rule, and this time uh, discuss further into it by looking into indeterminate products. What do you mean by if you have a limit, and then it, you have the uh, the num products go from zero times infinity? This is indeterminate product right there. So what I mean by that? Well, first let's get a recap on the Hoppy Tells rule. So to recap the Hoppy Tells rule, basically if you have a limit like this, f x divided by g of x, then this is just equal to the derivative of the top and bottom, uh, f x divided by g uh, f prime of x divided by g prime of x. If and this is important, you have to make sure all these conditions are true. If f and g are differentiable, meaning you could take the derivatives of them, and g of x not equal to zero near a, so we could apply the limit as it approaches. Uh, g of x, except possibly at a. And then the limit either equals uh, 0 here at, for f of x and g of x, or is either plus or minus infinity, and g um, and limit of uh, g of x x a is plus or minus infinity. So what I mean by this, it's either you get a a limit of a something like a 0 over 0, or a infinity over infinity. And these are indeterminate uh, forms, or indeterminate quotients, because um, they're just divided by. So you could apply this only, but then let's say you had a function like uh, like this one right here, where you had limit x approaches a of f of x times g of x, so it's a product, and limit of f of x, let's say this approaches uh, 0 here, or uh, we'll just write this as limit x approaches a f of x times this by limit x approaches a of g of x. And let's say this limit here, let's say this approaches uh, 0, and this one here, let's say it approaches infinity. So you're going to get a uh, indeterminate uh, product, or indeterminate form of this, and this is an indeterminate product. And our Le Hapitel's rule doesn't really uh, apply for this, but we can rearrange this. So we can rearrange the product f of g to, to equal, let's say, either uh, g of 1 over f, or f of 1 over g. So then you'll have something like a 0 over 0 or infinity over infinity. Because in this case here, this uh, let's say we had, for this case right here, we'll have g divided by 1 over f. g is infinity here, and f is 0, so 1 divided by 0 is infinity. So you have an infinity, so you'll have something like 0 over, I mean infinity over infinity. Or this one here, f is goes to 0, and 1 divided by g, which is infinity, it goes to zero as well, so then, so then we have this form, and then from this we can apply Le Hapitel's rule. So now let's uh, elaborate on this by uh, doing an example here. Let's say e example um, of a limit as x approaches zero. Well, from the right side, that's what this plus here on the zero is of x times ln x. Have this here because uh, the graph of ln x it's not defined for less than zero or or zero, so then uh, you can't really approach it from the left side. So what I mean by this, uh, if you have a graph of ln x, it's equals something like this. This is ln x, and it's only defined for this area here. And this goes to negative infinity uh, at uh, 0 here, at x equals 0, or approaches it. So then uh, when you look at this limit here, if you put x is uh, 0 in this one, you're going to have something of the form 0 times, well, this one ln x, you see the graph, it's it's ln of 0, or approaching 0 is negative infinity here. So you have a 0 times negative infinity, and this one is uh, basically, it's an indeterminate form of, yeah, it's an indeterminate product. But we could rearrange this, so we can apply Le Hapitel's rule. So we could write this as limit x approaches 0 from the right side of ln x times 1 over x. So now we know that well, ln x uh, approaches negative infinity here, so we're going to get negative infinity. And then this one here, if we put a 0 from the right side, and this one, we're going to get 1 divided by 0, and that's just infinity. And this is an indeterminate form, we could apply the Le tells rule. And then by the rule, what we do is take the derivative of the top and bottom here, because you brought differentiable, uh, you can take the derivative of them and whatnot. And uh, this one isn't 0 uh, anywhere near it, the graph of 1 divided by x. So now we can just take the derivative, we're going to get limit x approaches 0 plus derivative of ln x is just 1 over x and then 1 over x is derivative uh, using power rule this one's just going to be well negative negative 1 over x squared here and then if we just rearrange this one out this is going to equal to 
zero plus, uh, then this the x goes on top, so we're gonna have negative x squared over x, and this uh, just becomes limit, uh, limit as negative x is cancels, and this just goes to zero here. So this is our limit here. So uh, we could have also rearranged this in a different way. We could have also done uh, limit x approaches zero plus. We could have had the x on top and then one over ln x. We could have done this. We would have got the same answer, but this one here derivation is more uh, complicated. Yeah, it's more uh, taking derivative is more complicated. So basically, always look for the easier way to uh, just rearrange it in the easiest way possible. So easier to do one over x derivative than one over ln x. Yeah, just write that down here. To rearrange for the simpler derivative. It's easier to do uh, one over x than one over ln x. And also, if you wanted to see how the graph looks like, I'll use Google uh, soon. But I'll just show you what it would look like. Here, because now it, it's uh, it's not defined at x equals zero. That's why it's circled here. This is uh, not defined because uh, ln x had it approaches zero. It goes to negative infinity, so it never actually equals zero. And the so graph will look something like this. And just to show you, because Google, uh, when you graph it, doesn't actually show that this is not defined. Yeah, so I just plotted it in Google, just times x times ln x. So as you can see here, it looks like uh, like that here, and it approaches zero as x approaches zero from the right side. There's no left side here. That's why it's from the right. But uh, but then when you go click here, you can see on the y. If you look oh, on this side here, but when you approach it, it's it's undefined there. Yeah, so it's undefined at negative, but then when it's getting closer to zero, it will be undefined as well. Well, uh, that's uh, all for today. Hopefully you learned uh, about this. Uh, so basically, if you have anything different from what the conditions for Laputel's rule were, which was to get infinity over infinity or zero over zero, you could just rearrange them. I'll show another video how you could have indeterminate differences and whatnot. Uh, well, that's uh, all for today, and uh, stay tuned for another math easy solution.